emodels.co.uk. Make something awesome. Shut up and sit down. Hello again, gang. Colin here, Festa 67's workshop, and I'd like to welcome you to part five of the build of the Cat Cat, the Bandai Star Wars ATAT for our friends over at emodels.co.uk, the one stop shop for all your modelling needs. Yeah! Right, where did we get to? We was starting, if I remember rightly, to get ready for greebles. There were some holes drilled, some wiring done, etc. So I've raided the greeblies box. We've got some strips of styrene, and I've also had the 3D printer out and done some exhaust pipes. I've printed a Warhammery style storage tank and some packing cases, cases etc. etc. ready for the diorama. So we've got that and we've got some exhaust pipes and I've done some different styles and different ones just to see what I think all fit better so I'm really not 100% certain that this is one of my better ideas but I'm just trying to get an idea roughly of how high up I want to come with these pipes now I've got some small ones which are about yay tall which don't fit too bad and then I've got some yeah mahusive ones and I think I'm gonna go with the old mahusive ones myself so we'll get them in and then we're gonna start building the floor up on this to try to get that started and it's gonna be literally just extending the floor around so I could end up just putting a section straight on the top, to be honest. I'm not sure what to do with these hatches, whether to keep them on or lop them off. So, yeah, we'll go with something around them lines there. Yeah, <sighs> we found it. It was still attached to the sprue. Yeah. So, we kind of want this door to sit in there, like so. And then we can start building up the bits and bobs. So, let's put a bit of glue in there just to start the ball rolling and then I can do some more in a bit and I'm using my good old mate CA glue on this drop that in place like that and just get it like so I'm easily pleased, I know. Uh, let's slap that on there. So we'll get a nice, nice bit of square shape going on, I think. We'll uh, look at getting more uh, interesting piece out of it. So let's have a looky loo and see what we're doing for measurement. We want a bit of overhang like that. So let's find a new pen and get that marked. Yeah, that's that. And we want a similar overhang all the way around ish. So Yeah. Yeah. 
Oh yeah, so that'll do that. Bosh. Bosh. And a bit more. Bosh. Like that. And that will become the top deck. So let's remove that from the sheet and uh, try and stay on camera whilst doing it. Lose said bit of styrene and that will start trimming down then and becoming the deck that the workers are all walking around on. Yeah. So yeah, we can lose lose that top bit. Don't want that on there. But it's a bit of detail that I may end up using later on. Uh, knife on there just to lose any of the raised parts like so don't want them we can start figuring out where that's gonna go then about there is what I reckon now there's no special way of doing this it is literally glue it on yeah I know Festa gets technical some effort to my madness yeah and I will trim it down a bit to be honest because it's a bit wider than I would like so I reckon about there will be sufficient and then put a lip on there guess I'll just slice that off like that I see yeah floor yeah and then we've got pipage and, and things to go in as well see so we can then put sides on the floor and edges and things like that that go all the way around to give that a nice finished shape. So that's what we're kind of looking at for it. So I'll just trim off some edging strips to start putting on the floor and again just a bit of CA glue on the on the leading edge and I'm not priming any of this now until I've got this all built and getting said floor on and then once that's all on there I can then prime everything go around with sprue goo or, or whatever I need to go around with just to tidy everything up and then I can go for all the primer in so I'm really quite aggressive with me glue at this stage because there is going to be rust there is going to be uh, dot filtering going on and stuff so it will 
for this episode look a little Heath Robinson or yeah but it will come together I've done these before and yeah I kind of go with the flow with them if I'm honest and it's what starts taking shape sometimes you just put a piece on and you it works instantly for you but other times you do it and it's like nah that didn't quite do what I wanted it to do but a bit more super glue on there and get that So, trim off excess, like that, there's going to be a set of stairs coming down here, don't forget, so I don't want to go too mad with it, uh, let's do the back bit, bit of super glue, and then I can come round all of this and fettle it, edge it, trim it, yeah, you got it. But I want it to look like it was made on site. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. Cool. So hopefully you've all been keeping well anyway. Um, feel free to check out Nevbo's video as well. He's put some uh, videos up. I think it's the Hellcat he's doing. So pop over and uh, give his video a, a view as well. Spread the love. And uh, it keeps everyone go in with the e-model stuff then so and then these are little trim pieces so you know little bits of angle styrene and i go around underneath and put in all the little girders and detail work once it's all done with banisters and yeah you've got it so that's what they're all for ah uh, we've got a floor to go in there so i've got to make an edge with that so let's drop a mark in and trim and this is going to be another support beam for the floor that's going above it ready for the staircase so let's just put some glue on thusly You got it. You will go in. That's it. Just a curve. Right. And then that will support a narrow styrene, almost like a walkway, is the best way of describing it. fingers together now. Yeah, it will go in. Just 
just like that. Uh, let's get me stick in there, twitching away again. Okay, it's just beginning to start building floors. Yeah. <coughs> just need to let that start grabbing. much better. Yeah, good old Vesta. In there, like so, me thinks. So let's put a bit of glue on there. Definitely works. I know that much as I would like. So, yeah. That'll work. Not so much craft, but uh, get it on there and the nice stuff can start when the weathering gets done. But what we want at the moment is them pipes to stick together. Let's see how we're getting there. deft bit of glue in. Oh, we're well away. So we're starting to shape what we're after. So I'll put a little strip on there. start trimming and shaping okay I'll see you in a minute yeah so we're now refreshed with me cup of tea and we've got a bit of drying going on with the floor the first landings on and the door and the exhausts are coming up through the floor there so we could do with something for the fellas to work at so what i've got i've got a dashboard out of a knackered old transit ring a bell plug for fox uh, i built one of these a while back and decal wrapped it and my good friend Davey sent me his spare dashboard from his because he found out I was doing the e-models build and said I've got a spare dash ready for you to do your, your thing with so I'm going to chop this down because I want it to go along the back here and I want to use as much of it as I can so straight away I'm seeing the cut lines and how I work this out for those that, that don't do it, I do a lot by eye. Uh, I used to build custom motorbikes and trikes, so I got used to sitting on an office chair in the middle of my workshop, seeing everything in 3D in a virtual world and going from there. But not everyone can do it. So what I do is I look at that and I go for a rough placement and I'm already seeing in my mind little imaginary vertical lines coming up from the corner there which gives me my cut lines so he says one well, perfect there there's another one perfect at the square of the glove box and 
and another one coming along there. So when I cut all three of them and drop this in, it's going to look like it was made to measure. So that's the theory. Okay, so we get to get the saw out. Da, 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 da. And don't think about it too much. Just get your saw and cut it off. Okay. And that's all you got to do. So we'll come back when I've sawn this off because you don't want to sit there watching Fester chopping this to pieces. But like so, and then nip that off with the nippers. Saw line is going to go down there. Another one there. I'll get the nippers like so. Bullet noises can be done at your leisure. Yeah. And then put me score lines in so that I don't cut through me mat. And then come along with a bit of nipperage a goodly bit of nipperage and a bend that will be sanded in a moment but that is gonna start fitting in there like that okay so we just want to lose that angle now this is the fettling moment and where that score line is there. I spin me nippers around in Edward Spanner hands. Yeah. I said it. Like that, see? And that, believe it or not, is going to be a computer terminal. <laughs> so I might actually shorten it a bit because it seems a bit tall for my liking to be honest with you I reckon I could go with a cut right underneath that old glove rooney box so a bit more cutting is required because it looked like a meerkat popping up out the top of that and uh, yeah I didn't like it have you some of that and come along like so I am <coughs> I am brutal when I'm cutting things I know but it all gets dressed up with a bit of lipstick and mascara anyway this is just first fix look at that hey so that's gonna sit in there and then I'll go round and I'll shape bits that come round just to conceal the fact <laughs> uh, that it's a Mark 1 full transit dashboard yeah or Mark 2 sorry but uh, I could square that off it actually that might make it a bit better what do you reckon decisions made there you go uh, what a saw again I'm just gonna put a score line in this time because I'll be able to close this off then better with a flat bit of styrene won't I yes Cole yeah so let's gnaw at it Come under there with those and get the 
old heavy duty ones out because I don't want to ruin my good ones, do I? No. Like so. Yeah. Like so. Uh, get rid of that. Like that. And I reckon we can come straight down now. Try not to cut me handing off. Because that wouldn't be good, would it? Because I wouldn't be able to finish the build. Yeah, summer's ain't good. Yeah, I know. shout out as well for our fellow e-models builder Tony down at Helgen 35 who at the time of recording this <clears throat> has just been suitably scalped uh, his mop has been removed and I, uh, he did it for a charity a cancer charity so well done, Tony. Um, raising a bit of money, mate. Proud of you, my son. Uh, props to you, mate. And all of that. So, if any of you didn't realise or, or whatever, pop along to Elgin 35. Or Elgin 35, sorry, Tony. Um, and you'll see on his page and also on the Boom Hut. That he raised a bit of money there for charity and if you want to continue to uh, give him a sponsor then please do so so obviously don't forget as well if we're going down the road to sponsoring to pop over to e models there and drop something in your basket to keep everyone everyone happy and selling and getting you all the stuff that you need because, as, as we've all said before, if they haven't got it, you don't need it. Uh, there's some new kit, kits in store as well. Um, our friend Nev Bo is currently doing the Hellcat, I think it is, which is a rather beasty plane that he's, he's, he's doing a build series on. So I'll pop over and give him a visit. And a bit of support which is nice uh, keeps spreading the love I'm getting all hippie again what's going on Vesta's getting all hippie can't be doing that uh, pencil pencils what I'm after yeah Go. Cut off a bit more than I want. And that'll go in there. And that'll come up like that. Yeah, we can have that. So, a bit of glueage is now going to happen. Not a lot of glueage, just enough to hold it in place whilst I'm fettling. Because we're going to just start building stuff up now. Because don't forget, you know, I'm doing all of this at this stage, before primer. So, once I've made my bits and pieces off camera, I shall just go around and, and do any little bits of filling and stuff like that. Uh, so that when we come back, we can go, righty-ho, that bit 
now is built and modified it can go to primer and and speed things up a little for you but this is just really to give you guys an idea of how this has taken shape that's all this is about at the moment uh, because a lot of people have asked me how I go about doing a bit of scratch stuff and it's lovely that people have, have wanted the feedback and all of that so this was an ideal opportunity of a build that came up that I could demonstrate that with so yeah for those of you that haven't scratch scratch built before get yourself some sheets of styrene from our sponsor and um go and grab it and have a go you know because at the end of the day what possibly can go wrong that can't be corrected is my motto and that's the beauty of doing this is I've got a very childlike imagination uh, those that know me are always saying it um, and I can do this sort of thing on a build and not really worry about it whereas there's a lot of modelers out there would be apprehensive of doing it because they wouldn't want the risk of having a problem well I don't really think like that and yeah I know there's a lot of glue I don't really think like that because my philosophy is stuff like this that I'm doing now where I've got glue everywhere and uh, yeah it can all be sweetened up and fettled and messed with and yeah so that's when you can just go round and tidy your, your work up a bit but yeah it works for me makes me happy and you know there are people that see these little builds cropping up that enjoy seeing them and they're like do you know something I like that I like that a lot a, little, a real lot not a lot <laughs> who was that that used to say that I like it not a lot, but I like it. Magician bloke, what was his name? Oh yeah, Mr. Daniels, that was him. Rest him, God rest his soul. Yeah. I know this is a bit taller than we wanted it, but it's going in anyway. So, a little bit in there. I don't know why my extra fin's gone green. I haven't figured that out yet. Answers on a postcard. Well, first twitch of the day. Morning. There you go. Bubbles. There you go. Uh, <clears throat> we'll just lose that. Yeah, slap it on. Yeah. 
Just lose that angle a bit. Don't want that bit. There you go. Then go on like so. And I will pause for a cup of tea and get rid of me uh, trembles. And uh, yeah, because you don't want to see that. You don't want to see all of that. So we'll let that alone. Quick pause for a cup of tea. And then we'll come back and we'll start putting some support railings in. Right, let's get some support railings in. And what we want is we want some diagonal braces now to come up and support this old bad boy okay so it looks manufactured so just figuring out what way round would be better they'd want to bolt it in wouldn't they pardon me so that yeah that'll work so let's go for a nip around about there fingerprint just what we wanted oh well at least I can show you how to get rid of one of them this is where I should have put my gloves on in it yeah don't be like faster put your gloves on when you're doing this Cool, because we've got another little bit then that's going to come down off of that. Oh, there you go, first thing dropped of the day. Lovely. So we're going to have that little bit of bracketry. I'll go along there. And then that is said support. Uh, let's get a pair of tweezers. Right, so, see? One beam. Happy days. Hey, okay, so we repeat the process three times. Do. Yeah, so the one, two, and three. All right, so that's what's going to happen there. So I've shown you one. I'll go and do the rest. I will do is I'll put the others in just here and change that to a bit of edging. See, so it'll come around something like that and come out and then just have a tiny little triangular brace coming up. And then you'll have another one that comes under here somewhere just to give that a bit of strength like that okay so we'll do that and then we'll uh, do a bit of trimming a bit of sprue glue and uh, yeah okay so that's what I'm gonna do so I'll do that off camera we'll come back 
that will be ready and uh, filled and, and everything. Um, we can probably pop a couple of wires on that. I'm just going to solder a resistor and uh, a pigtail of wire on that and bring that down. Feed a wire through here and bring that down just so that I know when I prime I haven't then got to go in and solder and do everything and ruin the beginnings of the paint job so we are getting close to that point where the spray booth is going to be coming out right <clears throat> so we've done some railings a little bit of photo etch and put the posts in as I was saying just now and I'll put some little bits of styrene in as well right so we'll carry on now putting these little posts in and all I'm doing is just cutting little bits of styrene okay so what we do is we just go along with me thumb make a little line like so and then I just snip it as near as damn it because yeah we're gonna be um, randomly gluing these on okay so I'm gonna go along and do all of these and the rest of these okay and it's literally just what I've shown you okay and then I'll come back when I've glued all of these on and we'll uh, put the next rail around here and then we'll be ready for primer okay so I'll pause glue them on we'll come back uh, as I said a bit of railing which I've got just here so I can quickly bend that into shape probably I don't know whether that one's going to be long enough so I might get a new piece yeah it's a bit small so I'll get a new piece of that out the box right time to do a bit of painting so you're probably wondering why I've changed my camera angle and the reason is is folk ask me about my spray booth setup so I'm just gonna go through what I do so let's move some of the bits of the cat out of the way for a minute because I've got to prime all of this lot yeah it's primer time but first things first we've got to remove Brucey baby see so my spray booth goes under here okay so we just pull Brucey poos out the way it's my little pot holder in case you wonder we then get my extractor because my extractor goes down through the bench underneath up and out through a, a vent in the wall see so that's stage one some people have a slightly more elaborate setup than I've got here but this is what I can afford and it works for me. See, so we shove that in there. Just move me couple of pots out the way. Because you know me, there's always something that's in the way. Yeah. Shove that in the pipe. And then that is pretty much going to be the spray booth in place we've got the spray booth set up now so we're going to be priming away quite happily today so I'll just dig out my guns and stuff that I, I use 
There's a reason for the elastic band, which will become apparent in a minute. So we can uh, get the ball rolling. Now I'll probably mute the microphone when I edit this back because obviously painting there's going to be a compressor going and all of that lot and I'll probably time lapse this anyway but people have asked about the spray booth and people have seen the spray booth so that should be enough and I just give my airbrush a quick rinse out now the elastic band is for that because I have as some people know MS and I drop stuff and that when I'm shaking stops me from dropping my airbrush simple but effective Let's get a bit of primer on the go. Now I'll put it down somewhere. There she is. A bit of the old ultimate primer in grey from our sponsor at E Models. So Pop yourself over there and grab some. Slap some of it in your basket, so to speak. And uh, yeah. So just out of shot, I've got a bit of wood. One of them. With loads of holes in it that I'll be putting bits and pieces in in a minute. And we got all of that lot. Okay, so let's give the old primer a nice shake. Flick the lid back on, and we're ready to go. Now I love, I love this stuff. It goes on beautifully and perfectly. And I just start with a mist coat on everything. and then just keep priming away till my arts content. Okay, so that's what we're doing. Let's get that out of my way. Stop me smacking my hand on it, on it. priming dump so I'm gonna let that dry cut the episode clean the airbrush um, and then when we come back you'll probably find I've already put down the yellow and the black coats purely and simply because it's the same process basically um, so yeah we'll see how that goes um probably do a bit of pre-shading on a couple of bits as well so yeah tell you what we'll we'll do the pre-shading first show you how that's done 
and then we'll go on and do the yellow and the black as a time lapse so yeah scratch that and we'll change my plan as usual uh, isn't that what a fester does and we'll catch you on the other side in the meantime pop over and see our sponsor eModels on their website eModels.co.uk up on the top of the screen there if they haven't got it it's because you don't need it that's the very word so uh, until then I look forward to seeing you soon take care bye bye